Peer Deck is a great tool or add-on which will make your Google Slides presentation fun, interactive and engaging. Let's understand what is Peer Deck in this tutorial and you do not have to watch any other tutorial because I am going to give you the complete information about Peer Deck. To install Peer Deck, go to Add-ons, go to Get Add-ons, search for this particular add-on that is Peer Deck. You will be having an option to install this add-on. I have already installed this add-on, that is the reason it is showing me installed. Once you install this, click on this close button and again go to add-ons. You will be having an option of Peer Deck for Google Slide add-on and you can just click on this open Peer Deck add-on. Alright, so I have already opened this. You can see towards my right, this is the particular Peer Deck and you have various options to make your Google Slides presentation interactive. For example, you can add a text and you can get feedback from your students. You have an option of adding multiple choice question answers. You can add or accept numbers from the students. You can also embed a website link. You can ask your students to draw a particular object or draw a text. And you also have a draggable option, which I'm going to show you also. So please hold on for some time. Now, first, let me just create a new slide. I'll just create a new slide. And let me do one thing. Instead of creating the layout of the slide from start, what I'm going to do is I'll go to tools, go to explore option so that it will give me pre-made layouts. And let me just search for a particular layout. So I think this is also good. Or let me select the previous one. For example, let me select this. Click here. For example, let's say I can just say choose the best options. All right. Close this explore button. And you see you have an option of multiple choice. Click on this choice icon. I mean choice button. And you will be having this white screen and you see it is giving you options to insert your choices. So for example, I can say option one, I can say option two and if you want, you can delete a particular option. For example, let's say if I click on this cross button, you see I can delete an option. Similarly, I can add another option as well. So I can just say option three and click on update slide. So you see it says adding interactive questions. That means your slide has become interactive and once you share the slide with your students, your students can choose a particular best option from their screen as well. I'll show you that as well. Meanwhile, let's see text option. So for this, I'm going to create another new slide. And this time what I'm going to do is Let's say I want to change this particular layout. I'll just go to tools, go to explore. Let me just select this plain layout. All right. And what I'll say is, how are you today? All right. And you see, if I close this explore button now, if I come to this particular text, if I click on this text button, and then it is saying adding interactive questions. That means, if you give this particular slide to your students that how are you doing, they can just comment on the slide or they can just give their opinion that whether they are good or they are not feeling well and so on. All right. So this is all about text. Let's say if I add another slide and let me just say that choose the place for Delhi, use the red color and for let's say Chennai, use the green color. All right. Now, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'll just select this particular draggable option. And before this, let me do one thing. I'll just go to tools and I'm going to explore or you can just go to insert image, search for particular image in the web. And here I can just search for, let's say, map of India with states. Click enter and you can choose any image click on insert and you have inserted this image. So for Delhi, I want to choose a marker as red color 
and for Chennai it is green color. So for that what I'm going to do is I'll just click on this draggable icon and here you can choose the draggable item. You can choose anyone from this list. Let's say I want to choose this flag. Okay. So let's say I change this color to blue and I can change this particular color to green. Click on update slide and again it is trying to make your slide as interactive. Now please note that you do not have to delete anything from this particular option. That is you see in the first case also if you go to second number slide you see you have students choose an option and you have this peer deck symbol. Please do not delete it. Similarly in third slide you have an option here at the bottom. Please do not delete anything from here. In the same way you see now you will show this particular slide to your students and they can choose a particular option and they can mark it. For example, Delhi they can mark it with red color and for Chennai they can mark with green color. Alright. In the same way you have an option to draw. So for example, you see I have already prepared this slide. So you see here they can draw something like let's say if you ask reflect on today's activities. What do you like? So they can draw anything or even they can draw a text as well. And towards your right you have this template library and if you click on this particular template library you have lesson builders. So if you click here you have beginning of lesson, during lesson, end of lesson. You have various slides which you can embed. You see some of the slides I have taken directly from here and if I go to this during lesson you have various slides which you can directly use. Alright and if you just come down let me just go to back and you can also click on this add audio to your slide. So if you just click on this add audio you see you will be having an option to record your audio and then you can upload it as well. So at this moment I'll just close it. It is not required and in the same way you can add a number or website. So for example let's say you are talking about or rather you are teaching about French to your students. Now you see you have various numbers in French. For example you have 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Let's say that I want to know the number 4 in French. So in French you see it is 4 means it is cut or it is 4. Right. So I can ask a question. For example let's say if I add another slide. I can add the slide and what I can say is what is the number 4 or cat in French. All right. If you want you can change the layout of the slide. All right. And what I can do is in this case you see it is all about numbers. So I'll just click on this number and I'll just wait for some time until this particular slide also becomes interactive. Click on update slide and in this way you see you have made this particular slide also interactive. You can see this particular periodic symbol at the bottom. Similarly, you can add another slide. What I'm going to do is this time I'll just say like refer this website. So this is where students will refer to this website. And now I'll just click on this website button and you can give a particular URL. For example, I can just copy this URL and I can just paste it here. And you see you will also get a preview at the bottom. So you see this is the preview you are getting. Just click on this update slide. In the same way you see I have added lot of slides where you can add interactivity. For example here you see I just ask a question that is true or false. Salut in French means thank you. Whether it is true or false. Salut means you see hi. But I have given here that salut in French means thank you. So it is a false. So students has to select whether it is true or false. Similarly you see I have added lot of interactive slides and in the same way students will give their opinion. Once I have done everything I'll just come to this start lesson. Click on this start lesson and you have two types of lesson mode. Either you can choose on student paced activity. In this case if you choose student paced activity your students can access your slides based on their availability. So they will be having more flexibility. In case of instructor paced activity if you click there you will see the live interactivity which is happening with your students. 
and it will give you this particular code. So first, your student has to go to this particular website that is joinpd.com. They have to type this particular code. All right. So let me just go to this join PD as a student. So let's say a particular student is there. And if you just type here, joinpd.com, he has to give the code. This is the first question which is asked when the user will come because I have not yet started the presentation. So if I just close this, you see now my presentation has started. If I'm a student, I can select any one of these options or I can just press on this skip button. And you see, this is what I'm getting. So you see, this is the teacher page and this is the student detail. All right. So I'll just click on this arrow button to move forward. And here I'll just ask, choose the best options. And as a student, you see, the student will be having an option that is option one, option two and option three. So let's say a particular student chooses option three and I can see entire thing in my teacher login page as well. And if I click on this show responses, you see it has shown me that one student has told that option three is right, right? In the same way, if I move forward, you see I'm asking how are you doing? And the student will also see this and they can say that I am doing well. What about you? So you see, I have already clicked on this show responses, right? So if I just come here, you see it says I'm doing well. What about you? Similarly, if I go to next slide, it is asking choose the place. So you see, they have two markers and for Delhi, they have to choose a particular marker. So you see it is red. And then for Chennai, it is green. So what I'm going to do is, in fact, I have given the wrong colors, but you got the idea. So let's say for Chennai, since Chennai is here, I can just bring this blue flag. And for Delhi, I can just give this green flag, right? And as a teacher, I can just say show responses. You see, it is showing the green flag here and blue flag here. All right. Again, go to the next slide. And you can ask your student about anything that what did you like? And you see your students will also see this option. They can highlight it or they can draw a line or text or they can erase it. So let's say if I add a text, so I can just add a text here. And what did you like? All right. Similarly, what didn't you like? Right. Similarly, you can add anything here as well as here. And you see you have an option of pencil drawing as well as highlighter. Let's say if I just choose it. So let's say what was hard. So you can just draw some image which you have learned in your presentation and you can just explain this that this was hard. Right. Similarly, if I come to this presentation, you see if I come here and if I just click on this show response, you see whatever the student has Given the details, I can able to see it. Similarly, the next slide you see, it is showing what is the number quatre or cat in French means. And the same slide will be getting updated in the student login page. And he has to give the particular number. Let's say if he says four, you see, I'll just click on this show responses and it will give me number four. All right. In the same way, you see, if I just say refer this website, my student will just see this website that is viewing tutorialbrain.com and he will be able to see that the details are present in this particular website about the numbers. All right, let's come back and go to slide number eight. And what do you wonder about today's topic? Students can say anything based on their answer. So in the same way, you can move and talk about different variations or different options and your students can respond accordingly. Now let's come here and you have an option to log the screen as well as new prompt. If you choose this new prompt, you see you can move from various places. You see, I can go from this place to this place and so on. So let's say I want to directly go to this particular slide and I can jump to this particular slide. And in the same way, you see the student page will also come to this particular slide. Similarly, you see, you can also see 
that there is no response so it is showing no responses and since you are presenting so that is the reason it is showing you presenting and once you have done everything you can just click on this end button and end your presentation now you can just give session name as well so if i just give let's say french classes and i can just click on this save and end session so that it will be saved and i can just give the permission so i'll just click on this okay i'll grant permission and once you do that it says share takeaways and you see it is just trying to find the link for takeaways and you can share this with students and you can also share this with google classroom as well so this is the particular link and you can just copy this and keep it safely and if you just click on this return to google slides you can come back to your original google slides all right so you can see that this is a very good tool and if you go to the website of this peer deck you see peerdeck.com you can understand a lot of things about peer deck which i have already shown to you right and they have various pricing policies as well but what i would suggest is that their free plan is also very good so do not purchase a paid plan rather you can just take a free plan and use it and you see if i just go to pricing this is the pricing model which you can read from here and basically you are getting lot of options in free plan so if i am in your shoe i'll say that do not go with a paid plan at start if you really want paid plan then you can take it later but at start it is always better to go with free plan and another point which i just want to show you is that if i just come to my peer deck tutorial you see few options are not free after 30 days so this particular draw option will be a premium option after 30 days and if you want to use this then you have to pay to the peer deck team similarly this draggable option is not free after 30 days of trial is ending so make sure that if you want free options then you can choose from these four options that is text choice number and website and you have a very good option that is add audio to slide right so you can read everything from here and you have various options in template library so if i just click on this arrow button you see you have various learning development that is critical thinking social emotional learning and a lot of different subjects all right with this i hope you would have got a lot of detailed information about peer deck so if you really like this video click on the like button do subscribe to our channel and we have a complete tutorial series on google slides you can have a look at all of these tutorial from our playlist section so that's it in this video take care bye